welcome everybody to another episode of uh, Diecast Reviews and today we have the M2 machines. Now if you look at M2 machines, M2 machines are made and designed in the US, you know, uh, A, designed in the USA, yep. So these are my Moon Eyes collections except for these two. So do you remember the last episode I was saying that if I would acquire one more of this piece, I'll definitely open up um, to you guys uh, to unbox this. So I have do have one more extra piece over here and one of them is, um, uh, how would I say this? One of them it is, uh, there's some uh, defects to it. It is not open, so I'm gonna open it since it's already not in the in the right shape or right condition. Um, but this is one of the downsides of M2. But over, uh, but everything else of M2 is beautiful. Every piece, the design, the work, you know, everything is beautiful. So the only downside because it has moving parts in here and there. So these are the factors that you have to know that uh, it could be you know the chance for it to drop out or you may need to send it for repair that's one thing about moving parts regardless whether you it from m2 um uh, atomica or even hot wheels or even moderate or even matchbox moving parts it regardless because these are mechanical and when it comes to mechanical stuff you know there is a chance for it to you know to break um, because it's wear and tear you see um, unless you're talking about main lines or hot wheels or die cast cars without any moving parts yes definitely you know you don't have to worry about saying that you know i have to worry about whether the the, the hood will come out or this and that but of course that is not the crucial thing that why you should collect you know cars like this still remember this guy beautiful piece right and i want to take this and then to show you and compare with this decal with my you know my the other episode that i opened this one look at that so today we're going to do a side by side comparison with these two okay so but before that before i do the comparison and since you guys have seen this i'll just show you the rest of the family over here so let's shoot this now okay look at that so i'm also a moon eyes fan um but i do not have to collect a lot of moon eyes because they are very very expensive yep so moon eyes is one of a lot I cannot say all but one of the design teams that you know many 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 collectors sought after yeah and look at this this is the Nissan Skyline GTR 1971 back then when Nissan designed this car this these are awesome pieces um, they won many races and by the way if you look carefully it is rubber wheels people it's fully die cast metal and rubber wheels and in this for this piece it's only made 8980 pieces worldwide so I'm one out of the billions of people, one out of 8,980 people, I am one of them to own one. But of course, I have two, means I have two out of 8,000 over people. So look at that, Moon Eyes. Moon Eyes. Moon. So this, these pieces are really great pieces to collect. You know, collect. I, I, I personally believe that collect the things that you love not because uh, of trend and because of um, uh, that it has value now hobbies to me it is hobbies collection value is determined by market trends and this and that yes it's true but don't collect for the sake of it collect because you like it you see 
regardless of um, how much it's worth yes some some are expensive um, but if it's if it's something you love then save up and aim for it rather than compromising and you know getting a piece you know a less worth in your heart not in terms of money sense but you know your heart so look at this simple white eyes oh sorry simple white base moon eyes Datsun bluebird look at that look at that you have even the print of uh, I don't know what is it let's try to zoom in I'm not sure what it says but yeah so these are all designed in the USA look at the details of this nice great pieces so this let's see this is oh, this is made uh, three years ago 2018 designed to 2018 um, I love Datsuns, I love Skyline um, yeah, this, this is our, my favourite car die cars this is the blue moon eyes the Datsun Bluebird Bluebird uh, Bluebird in Hokkien sounds hmm <laughs> but okay, never mind too vulgar but anyway yeah, so look at that moon eyes doesn't matter anything pieces I love all these pieces because they are affordable. They are not saying very expensive. Um, they are range between, I think, what twenty dollars, yeah, around there, twenty plus. Yeah, if you can get it for lesser than that, I think you should get it. But get it not because of the value, but because you like it. Go with moon. So this the Datsun Bluebird. Uh, 1600 triple S. Yeah, great pieces to, to have them. Okay. And we have up next another, but it's not Moon Eyes. This is the Skyline 2000 GTR. Look at that. If you realize the emphasis of the background, you see this one is Moon Eyes. This is so loud, shouting at everybody. I am the Skyline GTR. Look at that. Look at the details. Great piece to own. Yeah. Oh, you heard that? Looks like something's loose inside. Not sure what is it. But it's okay. And back again. Okay, so I will show you what is wrong with this. One of them has an issue with the Okay, I have to you see first. Not sure if you can see any difference later. I'll show you. So this is the Skyline GTR Moon Eyes cage. Okay. I'll do a comparison with this set and the next set. Yeah. Okay, and see what can you spot? What is the issue with one of the cars? Okay, can you see it? Can you see it? I should put it side by side. Can you see? Oh, okay. Ta-da! Saw that? One of the... One of the... One of the... Mira is missing. Roblox, yo! Guys, this one... Touchy looks, yeah. Chantik? No, because it lost its mirror. So I'm gonna open this one up. Okay, I'm gonna open this two up. I'm gonna open this one up. And next, look at this. This is also a beautiful piece. Moon Eyes Volkswagen Microbus. Chantik, uh. the design nice. Uh, see. see, gold color, uh, logo, and uh, front lights. Oh, is it yellow? Yellow. Yeah. Go with moon. Cool. Moon equipped. So these are really awesome pieces to collect. Yep, let's put them side by side. So I'm an M2 lover. 
um, I love I like the flat M2s because they come with acrylic box I'm, 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 a, I'm a sucker for acrylic box because I will pay for this price you know because it is a display box so I don't have to buy another display box just for the car and this itself it is a display box so take a look at this guys this is even more rare this is the golden fair lady Nissan 1970 fair lady moon eyes guys this is rare why it only has 3,000 pieces in the world and I'm the one that acquired this piece moon eyes 50 look at that look at the design perfect people I got this off from another uh, collector uh, managed to find it online so this is a great piece to acquire great great piece if you can find this you know it will be you know added in your collection because these are only 3,000 pieces in the world and it's even it's harder to find as compared to all this you know that has 8,000 pieces in the world um, this guy has 8,250 this one has 8,980 pieces the rest I mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 8980 let me confirm yes oh no this is 7200 pieces in the world so different vehicle has different amount of uh, amount of cars being made so that's why I it's pretty rare now it's pretty hard to find uh, not easy to find and this is the another fair lady in silver Nice right guys, nice. No nice. 50. So I think this this these two they are siblings. Uh, one silver and one gold. One silver one gold. Yeah. Great design. Yeah. So I go I wonder if there's a bronze, copper, I mean. Cause you got gold, you got silver. What about <laughs> bronze, right? So okay, without further ado, um, let's put this at here. Okay, let's make it nice, nice. We are going to open these two up. Ta-da! Okay, I think we will open the moon nice first, lah, huh? because this guy got got issue, lah. So yeah, I don't want to rip the paper up. So let's cut this guy open instead. No, I risk get open box because my fingers right. I scared you rip open. <gasps> See, I told you. Rip the all off. Cannot keep the box skill, can I? Ah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Daiji Yobu. Daiji Yobu. So let's try to take this out. Take this out. Since it is a broken piece, so you see here the screw to get it out. M2 machines. And yeah. Look at that. Look at that. So this is the piece that is uh, has issues. Issue with the top is gone. It's not even inside. Shake, shake, shake. Also don't have. Wonderful piece. Wonderful, beautiful piece. Okay, and before that, let me. Since we are going to do comparison, let me take the other guy. The Hot Wheels, 100% Hot Wheels out. And let's do a comparison. And you might be asking, hey, compare what does that? Well, we will compare the flame design. Okay, we we'll compare the flame design. Okay, steady. Okay, let's cut this open. Please, I don't want to break the 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 the, the, the. This one is my favorite. Eh? It's so tight, I don't even dare to. Uh, 
What am I supposed to take this out without? Uh, as gentle as possible. Oh, I did it, people! I did it. Yes. Okay, let's take this out. Oh my god. Xiao Liao, who is the winner? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, this is the Hot Wheels one. This is the M2 one. Oh yo. How la I think. I think M M2 kind of wins it, right? But you see, there are different cars. You see, this is a Chevrolet, Chevrolet Bel Air. But the flames, look at that. The contrast, uh, the way they paint it. This feels more not as vibrant as. Look at the red. I mean, the orange, the red, the Bel Air, the M2 already is more vibrant more saturated as compared to the Hot Wheels yeah, but they are all looking good so 164 surprisingly the M2 looks a bit bigger so very hard to compare who is the real 164 uh, but if, I cannot compare like that also but it's because this is a different model maybe in real life this car is really bigger than the Chevy So yeah, that's about it for today um, Of this uh, unboxing So uh, Yeah, that's it for today So I'll see you the next round Okay um, Of unboxing again And if you like, you know, please do subscribe my channel uh, press the like button it will help me you know to kick in the youtube algorithm so you know uh, i do have a facebook page also called dc dice cast you can check it out i'm going to put the link down below okay and help me you know by subscribing and so i can share with you more you know even if you don't you want to watch it's okay just watch don't have to like subscribe it's okay but you know it doesn't cost you any cents it doesn't cost you any money so if you can help me press the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe okay so i'll see you again next time bye bye